What's up everybody, it's Dom Universe. Now I made this video to help people understand or know if they have a spiritual STD. Cause you know, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be going around having sex with people and you out here, you, you, you got a, you got demons attached to your spirit. But, so first off, to know if you have an incubus, a succubus slash lust demon, one thing I noticed that happens and this ain't just with me. This not this not going to be opinion based. I don't do opinion based videos. Fuck fuck that because if I'm doing opinion, it's based off my view, right? I can't you can you cannot go off of somebody else's view. You're supposed to have your own belief system. This is why I only give facts. Now, unconsciously when you have a a lust demon inside of you, you unconsciously tend to touch yourself. You could be just laying down watching TV or in your phone. And you unconsciously just start touching on yourself. This is the start. That's the start. You uh, you probably, when you out, you probably horny all the time. Whether you out or not, you look at people as sexual tools. You like to look at they, they ass before you look at them or talk to them. You probably only think about having sex with them before you talk to them. You don't look at people as human. It's hard for you to appreciate a human as a a. A collective consciousness it's, it's hard for you to appreciate people as people as one as sentient spiritual beings just like yourself instead of sexual you have an imbalance in your mind if everything is sexual to you so you probably say horny stuff a lot to your homeboys to females to even strangers this means you have the you have perversion in you that's what happens you become perverted and even when you get in a relationship, you probably all you want to do is have sex or y'all have sex a lot. You you crave sex. After that first time you have sex, you probably start surging or purging and you want to keep doing it. It's called a, a, a chaser effect. It's when you ejaculate and then you want it even more afterwards. That's called the chaser effect. And you probably have horny thoughts, right? So hold on. When you a person with a spiritual, uh, when you have like incubus and succubus inside of you, it, you might have sexual thoughts a lot. Now, growing up, I knew how to always knew how to get these out of my mind. I remember I told you all about rejecting thoughts or saying fuck off to your thoughts, whatnot. That is how I got sexual thoughts out when they became excessive, if you get what I'm saying. So horny thoughts, it, it makes you more perverted because eventually you start to create neural pathways you start to be be horny at random times and your brain be getting ready at just random times in a day to have sex it's about your brain your brain sends signals to your body so you might look at a female and and she got a a big ass and then you probably get an erection or you start like leaking pre <laughs> pre-cum you are getting sexually turned on. Just imagine that. Just imagine seeing yourself. Like sometimes you got to step outside of your shoes and look at yourself and examine yourself. Picture yourself just getting horny at somebody. That's weird as fuck. That's perverted. You People don't realize they are perverted. But when you, if you was to actually watch and examine yourself from a different point of view, you would see that you act like a fucking animal. You living in your lower chakras. But all of this, when you like watch porn, you masturbate, all of this is an indication you have a lust demon. It also mess up your neural pathogens. So I told y'all about neuroscience. Whenever you watching porn too much and you like to get turned on by these females that's on camera, you start to stop being turned on by women that's in real life. You only are turned on because like when you get in the bed, you it's going to be hard for you to get an erection. She could be sucking you off. She could be doing everything in the world and you still won't get on hard it's because you are programming your mind to be turned on by artificial female artificial sex and this make your brain get ready for sex at random times like you could just be at work doing nothing you could be at work just, do, just doing your work and then out of nowhere you feel wet in your pants men and women now anyway the neural pathogens they start to it, your mind starts to create different neural pathogens. Neural pathways are are just like when your brain experiences something new or experiences something a lot, it starts to strengthen and create neural pathways. It is it, it's like it 
is muscle memory. It remember how to do certain things. That's what the neural pathways are. So let's say you went and played football. Your mind is for the first time. Your mind going to create a neural pathway for football. And eventually, the more you play football, the more that neural pathway uh, 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 strengthen. Now, when it comes to porn, porn is artificial and it's giving you dopamine. It gives you unnecessary dopamine. So over time, your mind starts to look like the, the fucking brain of a dope fiend. Um, let's see. What was I about to say? When you when you when you do masturbation too much, or let's say even let's even say for the first time, over time you just gonna stop being attracted to men or women. You probably stop hanging out with friends just to to masturbate. You you be canceling stuff to masturbate. You you call off of work to masturbate. You doing all of this stuff over a temporary feeling. Temporary things kill long-term goals. And you know, I read a study like four or five years ago that said people who masturbate are not that, they're not that, uh, what's the word? They don't accomplish things that as much as a person who don't masturbate. Because when you masturbate, you start to become lazy and moody and you don't want to do shit. It's the same as when you smoke too much marijuana. So anyway, you want, when you, when you got a lust demon, right? You want to have sex with someone you don't know. You ever been around people who, or you, are you one of these people who see somebody, right? They, you see a good looking female and then you like, ooh, I'd fuck. Or you see a good looking dude and you be like, ooh, I'd fuck. Or I'd smash or I'd give them this, I'd give them the rod or I'd, I'd put this pussy on them, whatever, right? You, you got to think sometimes, right? Yo, a lot of people, we vulgar. We we are vulgar. We grow up acting like wild. This generation of people, we grow up acting wild. I mean, it, it ain't much got much to do with generation, but young people act wild. It's about how we programmed when we growing up. Now, when you saying you would have sex with somebody you don't know, you got to realize how you sound. You don't know if that person has anything. You don't know what type of person that is. You don't know if that person got 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 demons on their spirit you got to remember a quote i said to y'all many times in video that i used to hear growing up from my mom just because it looked good to you don't mean it's good for you period period and that's how that's part of the reason why it don't matter how good somebody look to me that don't mean i'm going to date you that, that don't mean i'm going to be all over you that don't mean i'm going to go on to talk to you that don't mean i'm going to have sex with you you can look good all day it's about what's inside it's about what's inside. Now, one thing that happens when you masturbate too much, you start to go, when you got a sex demon, sexuality start to go out the window over time, depending on how excessive and vulgar and compulsive you are. Sexuality start to go the fuck out the window and you probably start to, over time, be attracted, progressively more attracted to the same sex. And probably start to watch if you watch regular porn and this is it, this studies even show this if you watch regular porn and you watch it obsessively you masturbate you, you're addicted to it eventually you're gonna start getting into more hardcore porn happened to me but yeah it, this is actually a real study and it, yeah you start to get into more hardcore categories you might start watching uh some shit with incest you might start watching some some shit with uh transsexuals you might start watching homosexual porn you might start watching some some weird shit where they and, and we ain't gonna get too much into that but anyway yeah eventually you see when you masturbate and this part for men when you masturbate you raising your your estrogen and lowering your testosterone so eventually you start to become more emotional and and over time you might start to make gay jokes over time to uh men gay jokes it's gonna start as jokes i told y'all a long time ago Truth be coming through jokes these days. Just because a person say they playing, they could be playing all day, but in the back of their mind, they was dead ass, right? So a person, it, hey, it happens. You start to act suspect, and you start liking the same sex. You start looking at people different. It's, it's, it's how your brain works. See, with this neuroscience, when you strengthen in neural pathways like for porn because it's artificial, it's not, it's not real, Eventually, it starts to strengthen this part of your brain so much that other 
other cells in your brain start to weaken. Everything else in your life starts to become less important than masturbation and porn. This lets you know you have a, a, a incubus or succubus. But uh, wet dreams. If you haven't... Okay, so when you have wet dreams, right? And demons... Demons, like... They, they see your light when you sleep. They see your... Uh, what is it? What's that shit? Your uh, root chakra. Your root chakra is low. It's your first chakra. You shouldn't be in your root chakra. Uh, you probably horny. You have anxiety. You have money problems. You have addictions. If you are in your first chakra. The, your chakra glow. So in the spirit realm, these, these lust demons, they see that shit. They like, oh, this person in their lower chakras. I'm going to go over here and have sex with them in their dream. Because this is what they indulge in anyway in real life. So they're going to go in your dreams and they're going to fuck you. They're going to make you bust in your pants. You're going to wake up and you're going to be like, what the hell is this? Did I piss on myself? It be like that. They get you out and, and then they can appear in your dreams as your ex. If you was in a relationship before, right, where all you and your per your partner did was have sex, it's likely you have a, a, a lust demon. Because... <laughs> Not to get off track, but our government actually opened a portal with that uh, CERN machine, and it actually let demons into this 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 uh this world. It actually did. And you can see this in movies, video games, where a bunch of demons just start coming out of the sky and start getting into people. That's real life. People who are of lower vibration are able and vulnerable to be take to be uh taken over by lust demons now everybody got demons everybody has had a demon everybody has many demons i mean not everybody but some people got many demons right we all have something it could be a habit we have to deal with habits ain't nothing habits ain't ain't too hard it you know what fuck all that habits ain't too hard to overcome is basically what i'm trying to say it's just that we make things hard for ourselves. But anyway, back to the lower chakra. When they get in here, what this do is it make, they make like your fluid. You got a fluid that travel up and down your spine and it come out of your, wherever your chakra's at. Your body got to get this fluid out somehow. So it could, it could come out as crying. It could come out as, I guess, saliva. It could come out as uh, uh, ejaculation. It could come out as different fluids. And, and, and the, 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 the fluid travel all the way down your spine when you encounter a lust demon inside of your dream and it makes you ejaculate. Sometimes it's hard to not ejaculate. Sometimes you don't even got to have sex with them in your dream in order for them to make you ejaculate. It's going to happen. It's happened to me. But anyway, basically, you got to starve these demons. It, I told y'all it's just like a tapeworm, right? It's a parasite. Spiritual parasites, you have to starve them just like a tapeworm, a roundworm, a pinworm. They're inside of you to eat. They're inside of you for an addiction you have. They manipulate your mind and make you go and want more of this addiction. And, and when you do it, you are strengthening them. You have to not give them what they want. Life is hard for people. And, and I quote, well, we make it hard. It's, it's, and I quote, hard to us because... If, if life was easy for us when we were born, we would not be able to become the person we are meant to be. Nothing is put in our life for no reason. So, for y'all that's burning with spiritual STDs, I want y'all to know something. Starving these demons make them leave. If they start to weaken and get thirsty and they start to try to do everything in their power to get you to masturbate and, ha and, and just bust all over yourself. No matter if they attack you in your dreams, no matter what, this demon just... Don't don't worry about it. If you have a wet dream because of a lust demon, eventually just not acting on it is going to make it leave. That's how it happened to me. I had two of them when I went into a, a, a strict, serious monk mode, no fat. I had two wet dreams. And both of them was... I, I wasn't... See, when, when people have a, a wet dream, they feel like their progress got to start over. It's not like that. Your progress do not start over. You are detoxing. That is a detox. Your subconscious is, is always working on your body, especially when you sleep. So if you got a demon, your subconscious is going to try to get that shit out. Your body heals itself whenever you sleep, right? Your subconscious takes over. You're not conscious when you sleep. Your, your subconscious is, right? Now... 
one thing that will happen when you start to starve yourself or be sexually deprived is you are going to go through something called flatline. This is when your libido it, it just drops drastically. You're not you're you're not horny for a while. Your uh your your penis ain't hard, your vagina ain't wet. And for some people this could last a year. It could last a couple years. For some people it lasts months, weeks, days. For me it just lasted couple weeks to uh months but some sometimes if especially if you don't have sex period you may it may happen in cycles so you may get flatline in one month for three weeks you may be uh horny as fuck for the next two weeks and then go back into flatline for about a month it, it happens like that it's not always the same amount of time but flatline can also happen only once to you all it is is you when you go into flatline, this is your body healing. It know that, okay, you haven't had sex in a while. It's time to shut this shit down and heal. It's going to, your dick just basically going to stop working. It's not going to be unfunctional because you will still be able to get hard somehow, but it's not going to be as easy. You're not going to be dripping pre-cum. Your, your uh, penis is going to shrivel. And, but, but while you're in flatline and you're healing, your penis is going to grow. You should be abstaining from sex anyway, because what this does when you're doing semen retention, no matter how long you're doing it, it teaches you to appreciate the body of a woman. Because if you have a sex a lot anyway, you're you're not going to appreciate the, the body of a man or a woman as much. So staying away from sex teach you, okay, okay, since we ain't have sex, I'm going to value this woman or this man's body. I'm going to value her vagina. I'm going to value his penis. But that's pretty much it. People... People need to uh, also realize flatline is not something to worry about. It's just your libido going away for a while. You're healing. That's healing you. You might feel a vibration in your genitals, your penis or your vagina, as you're over the time that you are in flatline. This is your, your phallus healing because when you beat in your penis so much and, and just fingering yourself, over time, this starts to desensitize your penis and you basically breaking away skin. So it's going to have to heal. And it's going to look different. It's going to look better. But that's pretty much it. Dami Universe taking off. I love you all. Like, subscribe. Peace.